guys. This is zoomed. I'm so tired. It is. Seven. <sighs> Morning breath. I think it's gonna snow today. Can New York stop snowing already? <laughs> it's beautiful on the first day and then I'm done with it because then it turns black and disgusting. By the way, who else sleeps with like 50 million pillows? <laughs> I guess I will show you my morning routine, which is super simple. <laughs> Looking like a mess. Looking like a mess. Much like my Monstera which seems to be dying. I don't know, do you guys have tips on when the Monstera just like droops instead of stands up? Because I really need to know what is this situation. They're all falling, why? My skin's been okay. I did have breakouts on my chin a little bit so you can see the residual kind of like scarring but apart from that it's still kind of like held up and then for those days i use my curology and then it got back to shape so uh let's go wash our face into the bathroom where you see half my life <laughs> so for the mornings because i only want like a really gentle cleanse we got sent the versed gentle cycle milky cleanser which i've been using and really enjoying because the texture is like a moisturizer it's kind of hard to even tell and it's got oat milk and probiotics so it's there to kind of like build up your skin barrier so yeah i'm gonna go in with this one Plunk. guys if you haven't gotten scrunchies from our store yet like they are too cute and you have to check them out it literally looks like a moisturizer i'll put a little water on this Hardly feels like I really cleansed my face, but for the morning, that's a good thing. Maybe not so much for the night, because then I'm like, did I really wash away my grime? And then it just like disappears to nothing. Nothing. Okay, and then you can see, like I literally just splashed water on my face and the whole cleanser was off, but it feels very nice and supple. Let me just cut for a second so you don't see the situation. Wink. Okay, so just changed. Thought I would match the snow. Just kidding. Or am I? Eh, eh. We recently did a post on our IG about the circadian rhythm, aka the body clock. In ancient Chinese philosophy, it's believed that throughout the day, our body's qi or energy travels to different organs to help regulate the body's natural cycle, which means that different organs will be at their peak functionality at specific times of the day. Well, we have a little bit of fruit for breakfast. I have this thing where like, when I'm peeling fruit, there's a part of me that needs to do it in one go. Otherwise, I feel like I've failed in life. <laughs> it's just one of those satisfactions. I used to hate these things, but you know, they're full of nutrients. So, eat it. Eat me. Also, guys, it's good to know that in the mornings you want to stay away from anything too cold. So like cold water, cold smoothies, anything that's kind of like helping with the bowel. So like warm water, like your body temperature, I think, won't create such a stark contrast and you're working with your body. So for the morning, I've been keeping it pretty simple and just been using these three babies. This obviously is the Sierra's falling into the rose mist. This is the vitamin C elixir, which is super cool. I'll talk more about that. And then the Beauty of Joseon Dynasty Cream. And then for the sunscreen, it's from the Nine Wishes. So let's go through it. First of all, Starting off with Sioris falling into the rose. This is the most beautiful product that I have ever had the pleasure of laying my eyes on. And I've been using this one because it's like great for my oily skin. And remember how I said like I wake up kind of oily? There's like two ways you can do it. If you're scared of it getting into your hair, just put it into your palms. 
press it in. So this one has a few different oils compared to the time is running out. I just feel like this is better for combination and oily skin because it just feels lighter weight. So it's not that the other one feels heavy or anything, but after a while of using that, I just enjoy the kind of um, finish and feeling that this gives my semi oily skin. A newbie that we haven't talked about is this brand called CLE and all their products are beautiful. So it's also this biphase kind of oil serum. I wanted to get rid of these like slight uneven patches and just to brighten up my skin tone in the last like three weeks. It's got 11 percent of the pure vitamin C. It's also got amino acids, ferulic acid, which works really well with brightening up the skin, helping with hyperpigmentation, evening out, you know, uneven skin areas, which was exactly what I wanted. I can definitely tell that like the combination of these two worked really well. And yeah, I really enjoy it because it's lightweight, even though it's got an oil. So you just shake it up and then you just apply it on. And then in terms of the oil, I see it's got sweet almond oil, jojoba seed oil, as well as phytosqualane. So all of those are really fast absorbing. They work really well for oily skin, which is why I probably am still using this and enjoying it. The only thing I'm questioning is because you know how if it's got pure vitamin C, you want to be really careful about where you put this, like definitely away from sunlight, even if it is just kind of like indirect because it will oxidize really fast. So I put mine in the shadows, in the shadows. After you let that sink in a bit, you can see like it's like soft and supple, but it's not oily. So next, the moisturizer I've been kind of chopping and changing and using is the Beauty of Josun Cream. It just leaves my skin feeling very kind of like dewy without too much. So if you take accidentally too much moisturizer like I just did, you can actually just spread it down the neck, which also needs a lot of hydration. Oh my god! Okay, guys, this is like one of the smoothest, silkiest moisturizers I've ever used. <laughs> It's so glamorous in the way that it like spreads over your face. It's very hard to describe, but it's just like silky smooth and it's very fast absorbing and it just leaves the skin looking really bouncy, healthy, hydrated, nourished and loved. <laughs> Depending on how much you applied, you know, throughout your routine, you might feel a little more like sticky only because, you know, these are liquids that we're putting on our face, but just let it sink in. And after like five, 10 minutes, I feel like your skin will be sparkling. Oh my God, this is so good. We need to get this on our shop. I love it. Oh, by the way, we have new products from Beauty of Joseon on our store. Yes, we got the essence water, guys, and we got the serums for you. So excited. Today, we have a very exciting surprise for you guys. Welcome to our Beauty, Beauty Within, Within Shop. shop. The reason why we decided to do this was because through our videos, you guys come to us to learn about products, you know, the key ingredients, what skin types certain products work for. And we thought, why don't we combine our favorite brands, ones that we've been talking about for years now. If Bella and I turn into a shop, this would be it. This is us. This is just everything that we love. <laughs> and also we highly encourage you guys to leave reviews on the product so that other people can read it and also learn from your experiences, your thoughts and all that so we can build on the community further. Yeah, that's about it. So you can see like it's very dewy, it's very fresh, but it's not sticky. You could just leave it like this and look really healthy. So I just wanted to give it a few moments to kind of sink in before I apply our favorite best friend of all time sunscreen. I've been using the Nine Wishes Sun Moisturizer. This is very lightweight. If you really want to know about how to keep your skin healthy, youthful, it's sunscreen, guys. 
because the UV rays really does all the harm to our skin. So this gives kind of like satin skin-like finish. And my tip is to layer it on. So that's the first layer, just to make sure you have the actual dosage and application that will give you that sun protection. Layer another one on instead of going in heavy handed and then you end up with like a huge white block. So that is the skin, nice and glowing, nice and protected. And vitamin C works so well during the day for me. You know, it's like building collagen, it's brightening, it's a heavy duty antioxidant, so it's protecting the skin from free radical damage. So I just love using vitamin C during the day. And that's what you need. And we'll head out today because we have a bunch of stuff to do. So hopefully it doesn't snow in me yet. It's looking okay. Social distancing, face the wall. guys so yes we're here i'm just doing some preparation for a bunch of stuff like obviously we have the store stuff coming on so i need to organize some of the product descriptions that need to be written there's also scripts for next week that need to be planned out and obviously we have the shoot a little bit later on today which i will take you on but i just feel like getting out of like my room and always working in my room is really nice so like if you have the option to like go to a co-working space that isn't hopefully too like filled with people is actually a nice thing to like get yourself out of a different environment just to spark like inspiration again okay and if you guys are wondering this is from made well it came in a pack of three and i love this one clearly because i'm all about the beige life So guys, you can see I do put a little bit of effort into making myself look normal on a day-to-day. -day. Let me show you what I typically have with me. Okay, so this is my little bag of essentials, if you guys are wondering. <gasps> There's a little banana! Oh my god, I forgot about this. Oh my god, look how adorable this banana is. I have never seen one this small. It is the most adorable thing and I forgot it was in here. <laughs> but apart from that, the only, like clearly we're not really looking fantabulous everywhere because let's be real, like who are we trying to impress these days? But what I will always have on to look like a respectable human being is eyebrows and I've been using this one to death. This is the Benefit Cabral and you can see that it's on its last like dying phase because I've used it to death and that's just the little pot thing and then on the top has a little brush because you can only see eyes it basically is only eye products so I love the Fenty eyeliner this is a pen tip and actually all her makeup is really awesome it's like a really fine brush pen oh and then this is the new ordinary concealer i freaking love this if you guys have combination oily skin dry skin whatever it is the texture of this is oh my god they did such a good job i'm in the shade 2.1 medium and this is the one with the yellow undertones because clearly my undertones are yellow and like i put it just basically around the nose area and where I have hyperpigmentation and then under the eyes like it looks so natural and it's like this moussey soft plush consistency that's also really good coverage so you only need a teeny bit of it and then I have this rare beauty blush if you're gonna go eat now that 
indoor dining is opened again and you can actually take off the mask then a little blush goes a very long way this is the one from rare beauty from selena gomez and it's in happy and fun fact if you guys didn't know felicia actually means happy what else do i have oh and then i have this drunk elephant lippy balm which is pretty awesome but it just doesn't really hydrate for that long so if you have super chapped lips i don't think this is enough for you so that is my little simple covid makeup bag <laughs> okay so i am allowed to take my mask off to eat and drink let's eat this little teeny banana oh my god i've only seen ones this small in asia and they're normally green so let's i haven't tried this before let's do a little first impressions teeny banana hmm 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. is the time of the heart, meaning it's like the perfect self-care time. So it's great for a little lunch break or to go out for a walk and get some of that fresh air into our lungs, which makes a lot of difference. And following that is the time of the small intestine, which is for the digestion and also nutrient absorption. I mean, it actually just tastes the same as any other banana. It's not like extra sweet or something. So my snacking habits, I think like because the way I was raised by my mom, she never really gave me snacks and so like growing into the adult that I am, I tend to actually not snack that often. So apparently now between one to three, the small intestines are going at it, it's digesting your food that hopefully you ate at lunch. It's snowing again. Let me take you there. It might seem like a good thing and fun if you're not living here, if you're living here, I'm so done with this now! Oh my god, this window makes it look like we're in Russia or something with this building. Ah, there you go, you can kind of see it. You are delicious. Ding ding! By the way guys, I want to show you my socks that I wore today. <laughs> Sushi! Some avocado, some salmon, some egg rolls. Anyhow, this is just me oversharing. Oversharing. Okay, so now it is about 2.47. Meaning, I should probably make my way over to get started and prepare all the products and stuff. So right now we're going to go to the studios to take some pretty little pictures for our store. Guys. If you didn't know, Beauty Within does have its own shop and it's beautywithin.com where you can find me and Rowena's like favorite products and brands. The glamorous life of production. The screen that I look at all the products that we need to take. We're just gonna take them out of the boxes to take beautiful little pictures one by one. And look, you can see it here. Well, you see amber here. Look, green tea fresh toner. This, so we got this because it's very similar to the Benton green tea toner. Since that one is a hit, Isn't Tree has a really great one as well for oily, for balancing sebum. Delay, delay. This is our resident, wait, what is He's it? gone. <laughs> oh my God. Photographer, videographer, Yeah. part resident. of the Beauty Within team. Resident because I live here. <laughs> <laughs> Cockroach feelers. 
5 to 9 p.m. Now that we're basically done with all the tasks of the day, yay, small wins, <laughs> we enter the kidney time. And you can think of it as like a transitional period where the daytime is all about productivity, action, and energy, whereas the later half of the day has a soft, more feminine atmosphere to it. So it's around this time that you should be starting to slow down, relaxing, doing some of that skincare, or whatever activity that makes you calm and happy. So guys, nighttime routine. I actually just have three products that I've been kind of like using most of the time first is starting off with the Sioris My First Essena. I've been using this one for about like a month as well. It only just came out. This was like one of Sioris's newest releases. The consistency is interesting. It's like in a bottle that looks like a toner, but when you tip it out, it's more of like a goopy serum. And what it's got in it is green tea leaf water, which is like the first ingredient. And then it's got polyglutamic acid, which comes from fermented soybean and that helps with like deeply moisturizing and nourishing the skin and it also comes from natto beans like fermented soybeans or natto beans and then it's got the artemisia leaf extract which also helps with like calming soothing and hydrating so all these three ingredients when I first heard about it I was like oh my gosh get it on my face right now it's kind of hard to get out of this bottle that's my only complaint it's kind of goopy and I think that might just be from the fermented soybeans and that kind of works like hyaluronic acid where it attracts and retains hydration I was bad I was in the shower and then I picked up my skin I know on the channel we always say don't pick on the skin but I have my habits too okay I'm only human I'm also learning with you guys and sometimes when I'm like washing my face I feel little bumps and then I just kind of try to press out the whiteheads and then it like gets a little red. So I suggest you not follow my bad habits. I've been really enjoying this one and it's so hydrating. Like, yeah, it just feels like a serum, leaving it very nourished. And I could just easily go straight into a moisturizer after that. But because I was telling you, I was kind of like breaking out a little bit more and it is coming up to my time of month which makes sense so you know i'm kind of chill about it so i've been using the biosance squalane and lactic acid this is their resurfacing night serum oh my gosh this serum is beautiful i'm like actually in love with the consistency it's like a really lightweight moisturizer it just absorbs into the skin it's not irritating even though it's got 10 percent of the lactic acid lactic acid is a little bit more gentle than glycolic but the fact that it's got some squalane in there makes it like super nourishing but not greasy like but i've been using this maybe three times a week just because I want to kind of like help my skin kind of deal with the discoloration a little bit and it's super gentle see just the leaves it's so glowing but like skin like I love it so that's really been helping kind of like brighten everything back up again because I feel like when I'm coming up to my period my skin really struggles with dullness I feel like my um, hyperpigmentation darkens and obviously I start breaking out a little so that's when I'll really bust out like these really nourishing types of chemical exfoliants. Just to make sure I'm nice and moisturized after using any chemical exfoliant, I'm still using the Clinique. This is the Moisture Surge Intense 72 Hour Lipid. It's just a beautiful, smooth and silky consistency. Even though it might feel a little thicker than my normal moisturizers, for nighttime, my nighttime routine, I tend to enjoy these kind of more dense moisturizers a little bit more because I just feel like overnight you lose a lot of hydration, especially with the heaters and stuff. So I want to make sure that my moisturizer in the nighttime is a little bit heavier than my daytime routine. And when you like kind of work it into your skin, it just feels so smooth like it just slips everywhere in the best way so you want to just spread that down the neck 
Yes, you can see it's like nice and moisturized, but it's not oily. And that guy's. Mm, bloop, bloop. So you can see I have. I started picking at it here. I'm just kind of like breaking out a little. So, yes, that is my three step nighttime routine. On some days, I'll actually go in with the Curology. Like right now, I could actually just add a little bit to this bottom area. So I'll jump back into that when I feel like it's a little bit more congested, maybe two times a week, especially coming up to my period where I need a little bit more help. And then that's it. Oh, and I also want to share with you guys my body moisturizer that I've been using. Um, it's the Josie Moran Argan Milk. This is their Intensive Hydrating Body Renewal Serum, which is really cool because it's lightweight. It's much more lightweight than a normal like body moisturizer. And it's actually got argan oil as well as lactic acid. So it kind of works to really help gently exfoliate the body. The lactic acid works as a chemical exfoliant, just lightly helping to buff away that dead skin. And, I f and now, I'm just gonna go to bed because your girl is tired. <laughs> okay, so I know it is the weekend tomorrow, but I'm trying to not like, I don't know, normally I'll sleep at like three on a Friday because I know I can finally get that glorious sleep in that I've been waiting six days for <laughs> but then I end up waking up at like one and then I hang around in bed till about two and then I get I feel like I'm wasting kind of the day so I'm going to try and just keep at a normal kind of routine sleep at like 12 which is okay for a Friday so that my body can still recuperate. So between 11 p.m. to about 3 a.m. in the wee wee morning. So when we're sleeping, not only does our skin lose hydration, but our body's repairing itself overnight. And this is super important because if you don't allow your body to rest at this specific time frame, you're essentially putting the liver into overdrive and it won't be able to break down the toxins properly. That's you know, circling throughout our system. And it basically enters into a kind of panic mode. And eventually it will try to purge all the bad stuff elsewhere, AKA our skin. So healthy liver, healthy skin. So guys, I'm going to sleep a Rooney's. It's a well-deserved end of week. Meow. So it's the week, oh my gosh. These colors really do not match. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, following me around for the day. Let us know if there's anything that you want to see. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I don't know, do something to this hair situation. Okay, maybe I do something for... For... I don't know what I'm doing.